Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna cover what to mine with your Avalon miner. I'm gonna go over pool mining, solo mining, and the statistics that we'll need to make these calculations. So we can see on this screen right here, we're mining at 126 watts, and my hash rate is 4.12 terahash. So this is an Avalon Nano 3, and we can cycle through these different screens, but we wanna get to this one to get our watts as well as our hash rate so that we can use that to make some calculations on what to mine. So now I'm gonna take you over to my computer so that we can make these calculations. Now over on my computer, I'm at minerstat.com. I'll link this page down in the video description. It's gonna give us what to mine calculations for SHA-256, which is of course what we're using here with our Avalon Nano 3. So that hash rate was 4.12 terahash and the watts that that was consuming was 126 watts. For me, I'm gonna be using US dollars for the currency. And then the next thing that you're gonna need is your electricity costs. And this is one of the largest factors in seeing if your mining is profitable or not. For me, I went to my local utilities website to see what my cost per kilowatt hour is. You can also log in to your local utility to see what you're paying per kilowatt hour. But for me, it was 16 cents per kilowatt hour. And then for the results, I'm just gonna take a look at coins so I know which coin that I want to set up for mining. And at this point, what I'm gonna do is click calculate. And I can see given my current electricity cost, I'm not gonna be profitable simply mining in a pool and making about 22 cents a day. My electricity costs are prohibitive here at 16 cents per kilowatt hour. That electricity cost per day is 48 cents. So I can see my estimated daily profit is certainly in the negative. And in terms of what I should mine, they're all relatively close. Both Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash are at about 22 cents a day whereas BSV is a little bit less than that. So if you're pool mining, Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash are gonna be similar options there. And given that this is gonna be losing money for me daily if I'm mining in a pool and sharing those profits, I feel like it makes more sense to use something like an Avalon Nano 3 to do lottery mining, essentially trying to get a whole block for yourself. And I'll show you what this looks like over at solochance.org. I'll also link this page down in the video description. But let's just say I wanted to do Bitcoin Cash solo mining that, and my terahash was 4.12. So the chance that I get a whole block just to myself that I don't have to share in a pool, the chance that I would get this with Bitcoin Cash is about one in 12 chance for a whole year if I left this running for 365 days. And that's why you'll hear the term lottery miner because you can see that your chances aren't overwhelmingly high, but if you do hit that block, then you can potentially be profitable with your mining rig as opposed to losing money every day. And again, this is gonna depend on that electricity cost, whether you're gonna be making money or not on a daily basis. But if you're in the US market like me, just using your local utility electricity costs, almost certainly you're going to be in the negative on that daily estimated profit if you're mining in a pool. If we switch over from Bitcoin Cash over to Bitcoin, we'll see that it becomes a lot less likely, much more of a lottery ticket to mine that block all by yourself. If you ran this thing for the whole year, you'd have a one out of 3,708 chance. So not great in that situation. For me with my Avalon Nano 3, I'm solo mining Bitcoin Cash. I feel like it gives me at least somewhat of a chance to potentially get that block all by itself. And right now the reward that you get for getting that block all to yourself is 3.125 Bitcoin Cash if you're mining that, or of course, if you're mining Bitcoin, it would be a lot less likely, but the reward would be a lot higher with that 3.125 Bitcoin. And then you'll also get the associated fees that are accumulated on that block as well. So to round out this video, again, I'll link these websites down in the description if you'd like to make these calculations for yourself and seeing what you're gonna get estimated daily if you're mining in a pool and sharing those profits or if you're trying to do that solo chance, seeing what your chances are of getting that block all to yourself. And with that reward at 3.125, if you got it for Bitcoin Cash, and this is excluding the fees that you would get on top of this, so it'd be 3.125 times whatever the current price of Bitcoin Cash is. So 434.54 times 3.125 is $1,357.94. And then this calculation with the current price of Bitcoin would be 3.125 times 95000 $238.54, and that would be $297,620.44. So obviously you're gonna be making a lot more if you're able to get that lottery chance with Bitcoin, but Bitcoin Cash has a one in 12 chance, whereas 
if you're doing this with Bitcoin. It's a one in 3,708 chance, so obviously a lot longer odds, but if you are able to hit it, the reward is significantly higher. And one other quick note I want to make here at the end of the video, this Avalon Nano 3 is marketed as a personal space heater. So if you live in a colder climate, the electricity that this is using, it generates heat. So you can use that to heat your home a little bit and offset your electricity costs, maybe in some instance by heating up your home a little bit. So it's not maybe quite as punitive as what these numbers would indicate. Basically, you can think to yourself, well, this is generating heat. It's heating up my home. I'm paying for that. And then it's also generating me a little bit of crypto on top of that. And if crypto keeps going up in value, it's kind of speculative mining, where if the value of Bitcoin and Bitcoin cash keep going up, then this could offset over the course of time and maybe eventually be profitable down the line. And in a situation where you're offsetting the electricity costs a little bit by using the energy to heat your home, that's a situation where maybe you could justify this mining in a pool to get those daily rewards paid out to your account instead of using it as a lottery miner. So that's going to wrap up this video. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and I'll see you back here next time.